Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the perimeter and the area of trapezoids. Well, first of all, what is a trapezoid? It is a shape that has two sides that are parallel to each other. And in case you don't know, the word parallel means that these two sides face the same direction. Now, the other two sides do not have to be parallel, and that's okay. All right? So, how do we find the perimeter of the trapezoid? Well, remember, the perimeter is just the sum of all the sides added together. So, the perimeter is 4 plus 6 plus 7 and plus 6 again. Okay? So, 4 plus 6 gives you 10. 10 plus 7 gives you 17, and 17 plus 6 is what? Well, it's 23 centimeters, right? So the perimeter of this trapezoid is 23 centimeters. Now, how do you find the area of trapezoids? Well, the formula for the area of trapezoids is one half times the first base, which is this one, plus the second base, which is this side over here, times the height. Now, where does this formula come from? I will explain in a moment, but for now, let's use this formula. So the base, the first base is four centimeters, the second base is seven centimeters, and the height is 4 centimeters. 4 plus 7 gives you 11, and 11 times 4 gives you 44. Okay, and the last step is to take 44 and divide it by 2, and that is equal to 22 centimeters squared. And so the area of this trapezoid is 22 centimeters squared. And don't forget to put the number 2 up here, because that's the unit of the area. So where does the formula come from? Well, if you look at this trapezoid, when we say we want to find the area, we want to find all the space within this trapezoid. Agree? Now, if I split this trapezoid into two different shapes, what are these two? Well, these look like triangles, right? And so the area of the trapezoid is the area of these two triangles added together. I hope that makes sense. So what is the area of the orange triangle? Well, if you watch one of my videos, you will know that the area is one half times this base times the height. Okay, and the area of the yellow triangle is also one half times the second base and then times the height. Now, if you look at both of these expressions, you can see that they both have the 1 over 2. So we need to factor them out. Instead of writing base 1 times the height and base 2 times the height, I'm just going to write it like this which means the same thing. And the last step is to factor out the h inside these expressions. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And this is where the area for the trapezoid formula comes from. Let's do one last problem for today. So we have this shape, and we want to find the area of this shape. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you that this is a trapezoid. Why is that? Well, that's because the first side is parallel to the second side. And that's the definition of a trapezoid. The two sides over here do not matter. Okay? And so, the area of the trapezoid is one half times the first base plus the second base times the height. And so we know that the first base is 5 meters, the second base 
is 4 meters and the height is 2 meters. 5 plus 4 gives you 9. 9 times 2 is what? Well, that's 18. And then 18 divided by 2 gives you 9 meters square. And so the area of this trapezoid is 9 meters squared. And that is it for today. I hope you guys learned something new today. Now, it is your turn to try it yourself. So go ahead and find the perimeter and the area of this trapezoid right here. And why did I say that this is a trapezoid? Well, it's because these two sides are parallel. Okay? Now, you might also recognize that this is a parallelogram. And it is. And so if you use the formula for finding the area of the trapezoid, and then you use the formula to find the area of the parallelogram, both of those formulas will give you the same area. All right? And so if you like this video, please hit the like button. And also, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. With that being said, I hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next video.